What's up guys, welcome to another video. So this is just basically gonna be the recorded parts edited uh, by me from the last stream that I did on Saturday. Uh, in case you guys missed it and you guys wanted to get a little bit of the information on the build guides that I'm putting out for early 2020 right now. So this is for you guys, uh, just making it a little bit shorter and helping you guys out if I can. So uh, as always, you know, if you guys do enjoy content like this, make sure you guys give the video a like, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on. And if you guys have any questions about any of these build guides after you watch, it. Make sure you guys leave them down below. But uh, anyway, let's get on to the video. Your CD key has discounted codes for games and software that are a fraction of what you would pay if you purchased them from a retail store. More specifically, they have great prices on their Microsoft Office 2016 bundle that comes with a Windows 10 license as well. If that's not enough, you can also use my promo code RAV20 to receive 20% off the already discounted price. Just type in your product you're looking for, add it to the cart, view your cart, head to the checkout, type in my promo code, once again, RAV20, and see the sweet savings appear. Check the links in the video description to learn more. So let's go ahead and choose our CPU for our first build. So this is going to be our like $400 build, guys. And this is possible, trust me. Let's do the $400 build. And then, uh, then we'll move on to the other ones. This, this is gonna be for somebody who is just getting into PCs, who literally has not a lot of money to spend, and maybe doesn't even have enough money to spend to get like a, a discrete graphics card. We're gonna basically go with an AMD APU and we're just gonna leave it at that. We're not gonna even get a discrete graphics card in this build probably. Now I'm gonna give you an option to add a graphics card to this build because this is like the path that I feel like a new PC builder will do. They'll probably get one of these AMD APUs, go that route, use the integrated graphics at first just to play some games, and then they'll end up getting a graphics card later, whether that be buying a used one off the used market or buying a brand new graphics card like a 1660 Super or TI or something like that, which is very common. So we're gonna start with that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the 3200G. We could do the 34, but if you look at the benchmarks right here, so again, this is CPU user benchmark. Uh, that's what this site is called. I like to use this to compare CPUs, GPUs, and stuff like that. If we click on the 3400G right here, uh, and we do we compare with the 3200G, you can see that uh, it's only like a 4% effective speed increase, but the price difference is crazy. Like you pay another 65 bucks for it, which I mean, like if you see gaming, it's only 2% better. It's, it's just, I, I don't know, man. For somebody buying their first PC that has a certain budget, I think the 3200G is a great choice. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna, we're gonna start with that, okay? All right, let's choose a motherboard. I already kind of have one in mind. Uh, we're gonna go with a B450 motherboard because that honestly is just the way to do it these days. You gotta do it. So I think, so the Gigabyte here, let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so this one has four RAM slots and yeah, this one, I, I believe this is the one that I had in mind. Yeah, it's got great, great uh, IO, you know, just exactly what you need. Lots of USBs and stuff for your uh, accessories and whatnot. Uh, it actually has a, a heat, um, what do you call it? it? Has some heat dissipation over the VRMs right here. Um, so yeah, this would be a great board. And the fact that this is the second cheapest one, uh, I think that is probably, that's probably what which one we're gonna go with here. So, okay. So we got our we got our CPU, we got our motherboard. So let's go ahead and choose our memory. So this is what I said I was gonna kind of educate you guys a little bit. So with Ryzen, it's been proven that you definitely want to get, uh, well, first of all, fast RAM. And secondly, you want to make sure that you get dual channel RAM. I've seen a ton of videos on this. Thank you to other YouTubers. If you guys have, uh, what is it, the Toasty Bros, if you guys have never seen their channel, check them out. They just did a video on uh, if dual channel or single channel actually affects your gaming performance with Ryzen, and it seriously does, especially with integrated graphics, okay guys? If you're gonna do an integrated graphics build, you need dual channel RAM, otherwise you're basically just like, you know, hamstringing your, your, your build and you're just gonna lose about 20% of your performance, which is really dumb, so just don't do that. For a build like this, you guys, we're, we're not gonna end up with some bells and whistles like RGB RAM. I think we're gonna have to just stick with what's cheap. Um, I actually like 
Uh, I, I honestly just want to kind of get the black because it doesn't really, you know, stand out or anything like that. We can get the red if we go with some kind of red theme build. But, uh, you know, part of me just wants to basically stick with the, uh, with the blacks, with the black stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll just do that for now. Um, and like I said, you guys, the, the speed and the fact that it's dual channel is very important and you, you got to be okay with paying a little bit extra for that. Okay. That's, that's just how it is. And I'll, I'll just go ahead and search it just so you guys, you guys can see if we do 3,200, let's see, let's see how much cheaper it is just, just for, you know, gigs. Let's see if it's any cheaper. So, well, see, I guess we could. Yeah, you know what? This T-Force Dark kit right here, this is only $66.99 with free shipping and handling from Newegg. So, okay, that's an option too. We could do that um, instead of ours, but really we're only saving a few dollars. So to be honest, guys, I, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with what we got, I think. Okay, on to storage. So if you guys have not seen my last video, Go watch it. I literally just posted it yesterday. I did a little video on adding an SSD to your build, and I'm telling you guys, kind of, or kind of explaining to you guys why upgrading to SSDs is awesome these days. And uh, because of that reason, what I'm basically going to do is we're going to go all SSD storage on this build. This is kind of the way to do it now. I think I might do, I might do one of these Kingstons or this A Data. Yeah, I might do the just add the A Data on there and see. We'll, we'll leave them both in there. And then at the end, we'll kind of see how much money we have left to work with and see if we're, we're able to do that, okay? So let's go ahead and move on from that. So uh, video card, like I said, we're not gonna do a video card in this build right now. I will do that at the end. That way you guys have a little option to upgrade later on if you guys are thinking about doing this build and kind of following the path that I'm gonna give you guys. So let's go ahead and choose our case. So uh, the case that I was really looking at was this one right here, this AeroCool, uh, Cylon Mini. Yeah, this thing looks pretty cool, man. I believe that's a tempered glass panel. It's got some RGB at the front. Oh yeah, this thing looks pretty dope. I'm liking it. It's got room for the, the fans that I wanted to put in there and it's only 38.65 on Amazon right now. Micro ATX, perfect. Oh yeah. Um, Let's see. Yeah, it looks like the same kind of budget builds are building in this case. So I'm going to I'm going to go with this because uh, for re resellability, you guys, I'm sorry, but RGB is king. OK, when you have, you know, uh, some nice RGB lights going on and stuff like that, and you put it in the pictures, you know, they people just go crazy for it. So we're going to we're going to do that one. That's that's yeah, uh, that's funny because I was already looking at that case before so anyway let's go ahead and choose our power supply now so on our power supply for a build like this you guys you honestly don't need any more than 500 watts it's so low power you're not going to need much so i'm really just going to go ahead and do this go from the lowest price up uh let's go ahead and see what we got here we got oh we got a vs uh 550 watt really for only 38 dollars wow okay oh we got the 450 br for 36 uh, well, crap, I might end up going with the, uh, I, I like EVGA's power supplies. I always have. Honestly, you know, realistically, I would have loved to go with a, uh, a modular power supply, but for this price point, we're not really going to end up getting that. So is this like the, how much, how much more two bucks extra? We can get this Corsair 550 watt. Ooh, only thing is we got a little bit of ketchup and mustard going on. I really don't like that. Uh, let me guy, let me know what you guys think about Ketchup and Mustard cables. I hate them. I personally, I hate looking at that Ketchup and Mustard stuff. It sucks. I mean, yes, again, it is a budget build and you know, you're not going to get everything perfect, but man, you know what? I like, I at least like my builds to look good. We'll go with that one. I know the BR has uh, good cables. They're all black and they're flat. So we'll, we'll go with that. 500, 500 watt power supply. Perfectly fine. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, we're only gonna be pull, pulling 159 watts. So realistically, we could have gone with like the 450 watt one, but and look at that. We're at 380.55 right now, you guys. Unreal. So like I said, I wanted to try to keep it under 40 or $400, and I think we accomplished that. And, and you guys are gonna like 
you guys are gonna always ask right here. I know you're gonna say, what about the operating system? I never include Windows, and I'm gonna do a little plug for my sponsor. If you guys wanna go check out your CD key, uh, it'll be in the videos. Um, if you guys check out any of my videos that I use, uh, doing do any computer builds on, I always use URCD key and buy keys from them because uh, they they work and they're really cheap. So instead of spending like $100 on Windows, you spend like 15, okay? And I got a promo code, RAV20, swipe up. No, I'm just kidding, but anyway, yeah, just use, use my promo code, get Windows super cheap if you guys are doing that, so there you go. And as I said, I'm gonna make a variation of this that way you guys can add a graphics card. Super easy, okay? We're gonna do this. Let's go ahead and edit this part list again and let's search for some video cards. So, for a build like this, look at this, the, the, most, ex, the most popular card on here is a 1660. That's, that's almost what we're gonna go with. What we're probably gonna be looking at is a 1660 Super or a 1660 Ti, okay? And the reason why I'm pushing you guys towards those is because they have that thing called NVENC in them, okay? So when you use an NVIDIA card with the NVENC, you can actually stream and game at the same time. That allows you to take all of that stuff, that load when you stream off of your CPU that you would normally use when you're streaming with X264 encoding, um, and it uses a little chip on the card made especially for streaming. And if you guys don't believe me, I'm using it right now. That's, I use NVENC with my RTX 2080 and look at my stream. It's awesome. No drop frames, not a single one. I'm recording, streaming, and doing this all at the same time right now. I could fire up a game and do that too right now if I wanted to. So just so you guys know, that's why I'm going with uh, NVIDIA cards because these days everyone wants to game, everybody wants to stream, and everyone wants to edit video and uh, they're just they're just really good for that. So look at that, effective speed and FPS between the Super and the TI, 2% increase. Not much, not much. The TI, if you can find it cheaper, get it. But really, it's not much better. And there's actually some better parts, like the value incentive, it's better um, with the Super. So the more value option, the better value option is the 1660 Super. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with the Super, okay? Look at that, 229 right now, the Asus Tough Gaming from Amazon. Look at that, 229. Yep, we're gonna add that. Done. That's it. We're done. So now we got a full build with a graphics card. So obviously, you guys, if you guys were building this right away and you had the money for this, <clears throat> you had the money for the 1660 Super and you wanted to just build this um, with the graphics card initially, do not get the Ryzen 3 3200G. That again, is literally just if you wanted to start with an APU, okay? And you don't have money for a graphics card. That's why I put that in there. If you're actually going to go with a discrete graphics card from the beginning, then I would suggest switching this out with the Ryzen 5 2600, okay? It's easily the most, like, the most, you know, bang for your buck CPU out there right now. There's one that's, or the 1600 AF, okay? Which is basically a 2600. So if we add the 2600 to this, there you go. Now the build is 638. So bonus, you guys got another build. I guess we're gonna do four builds now. So there we go. So there's the upgraded version of the $400 build and that brings it to about, you know, $640.